Hey there, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian, and in today's video, we're going to be trying out my, my thermal paste that I got from Ther Thanos Mining, along with the spiffy cool uh, dispenser pistol grip thing. So anyway, got to try that. And it just so happens, if you look right up here, you see this, this card right there. That uh, card has some really high temps compared to the one above it. So the first, the card in the zero chain or the first chain, you'll see those chips are, are down there. Let's see, 58, 64, 57, 66, where if you look at the bottom chain, you'll see 77, 75, 76, 78. Or, so those numbers are quite a bit different to be inside the same miner. Uh, and they're both running at 550. There you go. You can see it right there. 550 megahertz. Uh, at 18.5 volts, so we need to fix that. I need to I need to take care of that today. We're gonna just test it out, right? We're gonna find out is this thermal paste really better than what I had in there with the cheap gray stuff. So let's get to it. Okay, let's get the heat sink off. We'll get it in the alcohol bath, clean it up, and then I'm gonna put the thermal paste on. I'm not gonna be replacing any chips or doing any kind of diagnostic work. This is just about testing the thermal paste and to see how it performs versus the cheap high 510 thermal paste. All right, so it looks like we lost two solder nuts on that one. We lost the heat sink nut right here, and we lost the heat sink nut up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace those because these were done with the old style of soldering technique that I was using. So I think that's why they fell off because I didn't clean the pads. Thanks to one of the viewers of this channel, I believe it goes by off the, off the wall. Uh, thanks so much for your suggestion of stripping the uh, tracks and then putting fresh solder on and, and welding them back on that way. That does seem to work quite a bit better. I'll have a video just dedicated to that technique uh, coming out real soon. But for right now, let me just get these two fixed and we'll get this thing put back together. Since I ended up doing a repair of the heat sink nuts, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the tester just to make sure I'm still getting 65 chips and everything looks good. Okay, good. We got 65 chips, that's all good. Let's just check the temp sensors just to make sure. All right, there we go. We've got all four temp sensors are reporting in good. Chip or Sense 4 is running hot right now. As far as the tester goes, that's right here. So that would make sense since this part of the board was the last part that I heated up. So that's okay. Also, look at uh, Temp Sense 1 is running hot. Again, that's right here. I did work right there. So we're good. Let me go ahead and get this off the tester. Let me put it back in an alcohol bath to clean it up, get that flux off, and then we'll put the new thermal paste on. Okay, the new thermal paste from Thanos Mining. This is what I'm running on the, on the other board already. 
So let's get this on, on here and we'll see how it does for this board. All right, that was quick and easy. It's definitely worthwhile to, to get the, the Spencer. All right, let's put the heat sinks on. Heat sinks put on with the new thermal paste. Let's just test it one last time just to make sure. Good, 65 chips, that's fantastic. And let's test the thermal temp sensors. Ah, good, good, good. Everything's reading 38 to 41 degrees. That's good, good, good. Okay, fantastic, everything's working just the way it should. Let me get this back into the miner and we'll see what the difference is. Okay, so the board is back in the miner and as you can see there, it looks like, uh, yeah, maybe the thermal paste made a little bit of difference. It's kind of hard to tell. When I look at my previous temps, uh, the comparison, you were looking at 10 degrees for chip four or temp sense four versus now we're looking at nine. So I'm not for sure that we really made a lot of difference with this. Maybe it's just the placement in the miner, but uh, at least now we do have the other thermal paste in place. Did I do anything bad? No, I don't think so. Did I do anything great? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know yet. We'll just have to let it run and see. I think we did make a little bit of improvement, uh, especially if you look around since one and two, you'll see those, those two first temp chips. They are definitely lower than the previous, especially that temp one. And that probably has something to do with the fact that uh, nut between chips one and 10 had popped loose. Maybe that helped. Thanks so much for watching. If you've got some comments about uh, something you saw in this video that, that helped you or something you would do better or different, please put that down in the comments below. If you like this video, definitely give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already so you'll be notified when I put out a new video. And thanks again so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.